it's Yolanda Shoshana, your psychic sommelier, and I have for you a wine review. I'm really excited about this wine that I'm trying today. I actually have a house full of wine, but once I found out about this brand and these sisters, I wanted to try it and talk to you about them. So last weekend I was at something called the Wine Blogger Con. It's wine writers, wine bloggers, people who want to know more about wine coming together and tasting wine. And I was at uh, the lunch at one of the lunches and somebody said, do you know of any African-American winemakers in New York City? And I couldn't think of any. So when I got home, I started doing research on African-American winemakers. I found that most of them are on the West Coast. Uh, so I tweeted out an article and somebody from Wine Blogger Con, who I met, tweeted me back and said, hey, do you know the McBride sisters? And I thought, well, no, I don't. And once I clicked on the article, I got hooked on who these women are and what they're doing, and I'm ecstatic about them. And this is the wine I am trying tonight. I found the red blend. I really wanted the Chardonnay, but you know what? Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of red wine. So the McBride sisters, uh, uh, they're sisters, <laughs> they own a winery in uh, California, the central, I guess they're in the central coast of California, or their wine is at least from the central coast. Uh, two sisters who grew up on different parts of the world, one in New Zealand and one in California, they've come together. It was their father's wish to create this wine. They found common ground in the wine. And the wine I am trying tonight is called Trouvé which means to find in French, and you know I'm a huge Francophile, but I really love this label. I think it's absolutely stunning. Their whole team is women, which is also exciting. So let's get this sniffing and a sipping started. I'm really excited. I'm using the glass I got from the Corning Museum to uh, try the wine. I let it open up a little bit. Uh, you know, Fancy glasses are always great for wine, but you know what? If all you have is a paper cup, you know, use that. I know some people are going to turn up their nose at me, but you know what? Better to have good wine in a crappy glass than have, uh, you know, a great glass and crappy wine. You can quote me on that. So, let's see what we can get. That is a lovely aroma. I'm getting some berries. I get berries from this, like like a blueberry and uh, there's a little touch of spice but uh, vanilla cocoa kind of a thing going on so very nice aroma and it opens up very well so let's try mm. oh not oh that's really nice. I never spit out because there's no need for me to waste this because I'm going to actually drink some more of it later. That's really good. Um, a nice acidity. It's very even. Kind of, kind of juicy and plump on the tongue. It's not dry, but it's nice. It's very nice. I get berries. Lots of berries are in this. It's really, really wonderful. Mm. Yeah, vanilla cocoa-ish. Very nice. I think you'd really, really like this. Like I said, it's from Central uh, uh, Coast of California. Very nice. This wine gets really great reviews. So, so far, I'm seeing why um, people really like it. The Chardonnay gets even better reviews than the red. So that's why I was looking for the Chardonnay. But this is a really great, great wine. Nice for sipping. I would say this would be great paired with a burger. A really nice burger. Um... nice hard cheese uh, but yeah like a nice meat beefy kind of thing if you don't eat meat I'd say like an eggplant would be great with this eggplant garlic um, this is good with the pasta this would be great with pasta as well so so something along those lines but like I say you know if you enjoy wine drink it with anything you want I know there, there are supposed to be rules but you cre can create your own but I give this a total thumbs up uh, I think you'll really like this this will run you between I got mine for $12.99 it goes between $12.99 to about $15 if you can't find it where you are I know you can get it on their website uh, the woman who told me about it uh, she loves it. She says she gets it at ShopRite. So if you have a ShopRite near you, totally check it out. Look for their white or their red, but just look for them. I just, I love what they're doing and it's a pretty good wine. You know, uh, 
paying over ten dollars for wine some people don't like to do it but don't forget it's very important what you're putting into your body and what goes into a bottle I can taste if there's quality in this it doesn't taste uh, doesn't taste cheap let's just say I doubt I have a hangover or a headache from this tomorrow morning so check out those McBride sisters and until next time cheers hmm. oh another thing if you want to have a full-on sensory experience I would say that you can light a little bit of mm, vanilla, vetiver, frankincense and myrrh in the background and this will really get your senses going. All right, now I'm done. Cheers. <laughs>